Escúcheme, Tokio. Ella tiene el Lisbon en la tienda. We're finally here. I am so sorry. I think this is the longest any... I think this is the longest that any show of mine has taken from start to finish when it comes to reaction-wise. And it'll make you at least laugh is that I still have all this hair. I was planning on, I, I guess, bought a buzzer and all that shit to start cutting my hair again. And I literally kept it going just for that little opening scene. <laughs> I didn't want to shave my head until I finished that, until I finished doing all this. So now that I have finished this, I can finally cut this ridiculously long hair that's just, it's just not working for me anymore. We're finally here though. The final, well, let me talk about Berlin before I do this snap. Because I really like the way this one turned out. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen uh, Jackie Chan Adventures or the Men in Black TV show, but this kind of gave me that vibe. This has been, it is not even, it's not even a question when it comes to out of all the TV shows that I've done and all the paintings that I've done for all those TV shows, these are by far the best out of all of them. These, every single one of these has turned out fantastic. The only ones that I didn't totally love is her because I had to mess with it a little bit and her face looks kind of smushied out and I didn't want to touch her. I didn't want to do anything with this even though like I could touch it up and make it look a little bit better like these are all I, I scanned them I took I cleaned them up a little bit and then printed them out I don't even want to touch that one that's just I'm still sad about that like I was talking about how I don't usually get fuck this show this thing has ruined my life you ruined Star Wars for me this isn't Rick and Morty why are there women writing Rick and Morty I never get that way I'm very borderline red letter media guys I'm actually I'm really happy that I found those guys out because I like their more just just yeah, I'm not screaming about stuff all the time the only time that I've got even close to that is when she died because I still think it's bullshit I still say it's absolute horseshit that they killed her that way I don't care what they were trying to do at some point I'll, if, if, the, if El Profesor does something gangster I'll put the glasses back on I had to tell you, I specifically bought these glasses just for this, just for this video. But I didn't, I couldn't find a pair of glasses that like looked good. And then I found these and they're, I guess, blue light blockers, like for electronic shit. And legit, like they do kind of help me a little bit. I've been wearing them a little bit more often. I've always kind of wanted to wear glasses, as dumb as that sounds, for all of you to have to wear glasses. So these are actually like useful to me because I'm, I'm constantly staring at the computer or my iPad or my phone. So I really am sorry. Like from the bottom of my heart, I am sorry that this particular episode took so long. I know you guys have been waiting for like a month, maybe longer. In all fairness, I do put a little bit extra into all of these. I'll talk about it at the end, just in case any of you skip this part, but I'm opening up the Etsy, finally. I ended up, I've been not wanting to open up the Etsy, specifically because I'm, I don't know how copyright shit works, and I just watched a YouTube video that was specifically, is it okay to sell fan art on Etsy? And the, they had a lawyer on there, it was like, it's not, but they're not going to stop you. Like, unless you start making, like, crazy money or unless you start having, like, Sonic banging <laughs> Bart Simpson, some shit like that, they're probably not going to... I don't know where... I don't know why that was the first thing that popped into my head. I don't usually... Like, in all the other videos that I've made, when I, when I talk about these and if you want to buy them and shit like that, I'm always kind of like, who would want to buy these? I wouldn't... I, I wouldn't buy any of these. These, on the other hand... I know you want one. I, I know you want that least bone. Look at that least bone. That least bone is the shit. I am still... That's why that gets the top prize. Because that is my favorite one out of all of them. I don't know what it was about it that came out so great. It's hard to see it here, but all the little, all the little coffee specks. The eyes. Everything about this. Everything. Of, all of these. Again, all of these look amazing. I, I love the way... And everyone was a little bit different. Love the way Berlin came out. I'm so happy that I saved him for like second to last. The one you're watching 
right now. El Profesor. I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm probably gonna do it. Where I'm gonna do acrylic paint, and I'm gonna have one like like, like a one really really good one, just because El Profesor is like I've I've thought about it over the course of these reaction videos. El Profesor is in my top ten favorite characters of all time. El Profesor. So, if you want any of these the etsy is right down there if you don't want to if you want to contribute to the channel if you want to help me out to keep me doing what i'm doing i'm starting that patreon this week also but legit if you're just here for la casa de papel again one last time i'm really sorry it took this long thank you for holding out for me Fucking Arturo. i'm so happy the normies are watching la casa I wonder if I'm the only reaction channel that talks about other reaction channels. I don't think I see any. All right, so let's see. I'm trying to remember what's happening. It's been like a month. The final recap while you're watching El Profesor. All right, so she isn't free, but she got released from torturous, horrible conditions, and everybody saw her, and they had that super sweet, we all love you. The, the La Casa de Papel moment. The moment that I haven't seen once this entire season that we got like six times in the last three seasons. The La Casa de Papel moment. That was that moment right there. Um, he's dead still. <laughs> uh, she's dead still. They, they put her out in a coffin so everybody could pay their final respects to her. and It was a sweet send-off. You had him with the machine, not the machine gun, but like the Gatling gun, whatever the hell that thing was. That massive, massive artillery. He was crying. She got saved. She didn't kill him. She didn't kill uh, Gandia. <laughs> she didn't kill Gandia. But she did like stab him in the neck or she did something fucked up to him. I get where he was coming from, where he was running out of options. He needed somebody to help, but I would have, I would have gone. Like if I was him, I would have like ran out the front door, been like, "I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding! Someone get me an ambulance!" Instead, he goes back to Tokyo, and he's like, "Hey, promise you're not gonna kill me." <laughs> um, I would like for Palermo to redeem himself, but I don't see that happening. I'm, I'm always gonna blame him for for my girl's death. Always going to blame him for that. So I don't I don't see any forgiveness for him. Um, Denver and Rio and Stockholm, who gives a shit? I, they said that the fifth season is going to be the final season. So that means this is going to end on a cliffhanger. I was really hoping that wasn't going to be the case. I didn't see how they were possibly going to wrap everything up in one more episode. But the way that seasons one and two were... All right... I was hoping that three and four were going to be like that and not three, four, and five. But whatever. That gives them at least one more season to redeem themselves. Because I'm looking back on this season. This season was weak. This season was very weak. I enjoyed this season because it's La Casa de Papel. But compared to the first three seasons, the only thing that I'll give this season for is that Tokyo has been... I'm like I'm now that I'm now that the normies are watching it. I'm watching with them, and I forgot how much I hated Tokyo. How I was like, you are just the most annoying character ever. You ruin everything. She really hasn't been that bad this season. She's she has done a lot of stuff that I'm just like more than this fucking asshole. Again, there weren't a lot of La Casa de Papel moments. The only reason I can think about that happening is that this is that whole... They always say the three-act structure is... Uh, you know, you, you get introduced to everybody. Horrible shit happens to them. They come back stronger than ever. I feel like if they were planning on this being a three-season storyline, this is the season where just nothing but bad things happen. So the only thing that I can think of is that starting with the La Casa de Papel moment with her last season or last episode, if 
this episode and the the entirety of season five is just straight these guys steamrolling everybody. I'll then 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 I'll forgive this because I always Mr. Robot. A lot of people hate Mr. Robot season two, but Mr. Robot season three was only that good because of season two. So I feel like if season five of my, of La Casa de Papel is as good as it is hopefully going to be, it is because of this slightly not as good season four. That's right, Gandia. Gandia is. They had a whole fake out future part where he's running to the to the helicopter and they're shooting at him, but it's a hundred percent not him. And the and the only person I can think of it being is Denver. It could be Rio, I guess. I don't know. Rio's a bitch. There's no way. I, I, I don't. Who was shooting at him? I don't remember who was shooting at him in the episode. <sighs> Gonna miss you guys. Let's help me do this for a living. Please. Por favor. Por favor, ayúdame. Por favor, ayúdame. Uh, I don't know how to say it. Freaking damn it. Mi, mi trabajar. Uh, necesito. Necesito. No. Uh, deseo. I don't know how to say drawing. Pintura. Mm. Mi pintura, yo deseo mi pintura, mi pinturas, could that, could, mis pinturas, would that work? Yo deseo mis pinturas estar mi trabajar. I want my paintings to be my job. Quiero, well, deseo works too. Quiero que mis pinturas sean mi trabajo. Here, let's see. What does it say? Deseo. I wish. Deseo, it means want to. Deseo mis pinturas. Estar mi trabajar. I typed in deseo mis pinturas estar mi trabajar into Google Translate. And the English translation is I want my paintings to be my work. So I'm going to say that I was 100% right. When it comes to being a white boy that just be, is able to speak a decent amount of Spanish. But as, again, this show has helped me get back into uh, uh, Duolingo and trying to pick this language. For someone that lives in South Florida, it's just inexcusable for me to not speak Spanish. <laughs> Necesito uh, hablar todos, todos de español. I am you motherfucker. Rodrigo de la Serna, you mother Oh, Seriously, dude. <laughs> Typical dude. Uh huh. He's trying to, he's putting a, he's putting a line down. Gotta do it, man. Yes, he does. Tú crees que yo no te quiero, pero ninguna de esas mujeres se ha sentido ni remotamente algo semejante a lo que yo te quiero. Oh, Aww, you can't say that to him. De lejos. You can't say that to him. Don't do it. He's gonna like judo chop. I, th I thought he was gonna like judo chop him. Like I'm married, motherfucker. No, that that was all you get. No, that's all you got. I lied. I lied. I thought he was just going to kiss him that one time to be like, all right, now leave me alone. This is going to be that moment. All right, so he's, he, he's giving him one... one I can't tell if this is better for him or worse. Like, like to know that that's there, to know that he's not wrong. So this is why they never did the plan. I 
I've never heard the word brotherhood before, so that. Please don't tell me this is not. It's a mighty fine hat you got there, friend. I no, I still. You're not gonna make me feel better about Palermo. If anything, this makes me feel better about Berlin. For a second, I thought he might have actually gotten him. Palermo to to leave his wife. I couldn't remember if they were still together at the start of this. Ah, Adelica. Uh, I don't trust her. Look at that. I was going to say. 100%. She's going to get up there and be like, yo, it was all this dude's fault. I hadn't. He, it was all in order. I knew nothing about any of this. Fuck that guy. I thought she was done. I thought we were done with her. <laughs> Sent in. Uh huh. What did you think she was going to do? Come on. Yes. <laughs> Taking everybody down. I'm with her. Scorched earth. If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. I always forget how long some of these cold opens are. All of it. They directed it. It wasn't. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Taking everybody down with me. I'm with her. He is too. I <laughs> couldn't I just, I started learning this. I can't do that. I love everybody's name. Fuck the Reservoir Dogs, Mr. White and Mr. Black. They just... They just started this, or this is no. They, yeah, this has to be recent. This is pretty on the fly here, buddy. No. No. Louder. Through the back. Parking? To just the one. This feels like a La Casa de Papel moment. I define La Casa de Papel moments as fuck yeah moments. Fuck yeah in a cool way and fuck yeah in a heart heart felt way heart felt way man it took him how long look at that my ass 10 hours okay i'm gonna i'm gonna let it slide that they're they're at least trying to make it look i don't know engineering so i'll take a professor's word for it At least they're showing all of this. This helps. He's up. <laughs> yeah, fuck, you get to you get to be awake while we freaking operate on you, bitch. Yeah, she's still dealing with the fact that she just found out. That doesn't sound like a yes. <laughs> and then I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you to death. Mm. 
Because that's what I would say. Because he killed my girl. Yeah. It's like going to bed with a stuffed animal. This is my waifu. <laughs> it's my waifu pillow. Look at him. He's he's ready. She's a hundred. She's a hundred percent right. Now she's not. I'm with her. But we're not. You get a hug too. Some hugs for everyone. Except you. It's still your fault. Hijo de puta. C. Si. I feel like we never really got a a proper morning moment. That's the hardest, legitimately, that's the hardest death that's hit me, fictional character-wise, in a long time. Like, I get it now. Give him a hug. Ad, go. Jump in. Hugs all around. Yay. <laughs> Stop, show. I don't like you this season. <laughs> She knows. She knows that it was what's his face. Mm -hmm. I told you she was gonna figure it out. She's gonna go rogue. There's no way they're, that they would let her. Aww. If I was the government, I would have her under, like, non-stop lock and key. I would have 800 guards in front of her fucking house. No, fuck that. Hey, any pregnant woman coming out of this building... Don't let her. I don't like that she figured it out with out any more hints. Fuck! Are you really gonna do this? Are you really gonna make me forgive you? Yes, my dog. I'm I'm surprised he actually like fessed up to it. This is all my fault. Bitch. The guy you loved got married. His, like, soulmate got killed in front of him. You being a horrible monster and being a little pussy fucking bitch is exactly why Berlin and them dumped you years ago. Yeah, you were gonna kill yourself. I don't care. That's why he, yeah, that's why he saved you when you were getting ready to go out. Oh, are they gonna fall in love? I didn't even think about that. Mirko Dragic. No. 
que esperen a nadie más. Tampoco a ti, Martín Barón. Tampoco a ti. This episode's definitely been just one non-stop La Casa de Papel moment. I love this episode. This is, I mean, obviously it's the finale, but this is easily the best episode of the season. You're getting me back. You're getting me back. I was already kind of back with last episode. I didn't think she's going to go that far. Claro. Eso es. <laughs> El profesor. Quizás ese superpoder fue lo único que no había previsto. Era la primera vez que alguien olfateaba su rostro sin que. I don't like how fast she figured it out though. You guys are idiots. That's your fault. She really is going rogue. <laughs> Can everybody just like team up and kill him? Seriously. Come on. Todos callados. Yeah. They're like, yo, can we can we get this guy out? This guy, at least him. You have got to be shitting me. You have got to be shitting me. Here, hold on, ready? I was going to give you guys a sneak peek into my life but i guess they stopped the last thing i heard was i'm going to call the cops so good hold on i have to watch this again i saw she shot him in the leg and i missed that i want to i want to fully appreciate this asshole finally getting shot yes yes I'm cool with that. I'm cool with at least him getting some kind of comeuppance. I mean, if anything, this helps his case. Like, look, they threw me out of a window. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's this goofy ass? <laughs> the mole is out for a walk. He didn't. He didn't do it at now.
Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> she, she should join them. Well, no. She did kill Nairobi. Kind of. Helped kill Nairobi. Nice. It's like, uh, Inside Man. One of my favorite movies. Legit, one of my favorite movies ever. I love Inside Man. Looks good to me. This is all I wanted was more of these moments. We got, like, no El Profesor moments the entire goddamn show. Series. Season. Stupid. I can't wait to cut my hair. <laughs> For you fuckers. <laughs> and then here's where we pick up. Flood it. I don't care. This is genius. <laughs> bounce, bounce, come on. Be out, 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 be out. <laughs> That's a wizard. Stupid. That was awesome. That whole thing was perfect. I 100% believe everything that just transpired. But now nobody's here at the warehouse. I feel like it's going to cut off. This episode is going to cut off with Alicia finding the place and being like, Hi, El Profesor. And you better put a disguise on her. Give her a hat or something. Even better. Keep her all the way down and you get to give her a change of clothing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wait, so they're the... They were the ones that were shooting at the beginning of that episode? It was Denver. All right. I even said, I'm like, there's only one person that could possibly pull off. You didn't fool me with this. He didn't fool me with this, La Casa. I saw this. I didn't know she was in the helicopter, and I didn't know that the, how they were going to get her out. That was awesome. I don't understand what the point of this is, though. They're clearly not extracting anybody. The only person that could get in there is Denver. Unless they all just bounce right now. But then how, what sense would that make? I have no idea what's about to happen right now. Is she joining them? Is she joining them so she's out of, not out of harm's way, but just so that... No. Idiot. Yeah, alright. So she is just joining them. <laughs> Come on, man. It's like 20 of you guys. Huh? You couldn't have restrained him quicker? Okay, I guess some random chick. <laughs> There was no helicopter. 
This is all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now she's in. Why wouldn't he have brought her to him, though? I love this, but why wouldn't he have brought her to him? Man, this can't be the last episode. No. It's going to end with Alicia putting a gun to his head. I can already feel it. I can feel it. Por Nairobi. Por Nairobi. Por Nairobi. Por Nairobi. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. What I tell you? <sighs> Boo! This is how it's gonna end. This is how the episode's gonna fucking end. What is this gonna do? She 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 has to join him. He has she has to join him. She has to. No, come on, no, 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 no. Your mother, your mother, your mother, your mother. Boo! Boo! But I am happy I saved my boy here for the final one because he earned it this time around. He was hands down MVP of this episode. Ah, oh, fuck him. I gotta come down from that high. <laughs> that fucking episode. Oh, okay. You got me back. You got me back. I feel like... She, I still... It's bullshit that... He needed to have somebody there with him. I don't understand why he didn't bring Lee's bone to him. I'm sure some of you will mention it in the comment section, maybe. But I don't know why he, why he wouldn't... Like, that seems like an awful lot to go to. Just to put her more in harm's way. Cause like if you if you wouldn't bring if you wouldn't bring her to you because you felt like she wasn't safe where you are, I feel like he should have had some some proximity sensors or something to let him know where Alicia was. I, I knew it. I knew it. I'm like the last shot of the season is gonna be her with the gun to his head saying, "Hey, how's it going?" I fucking felt it in my soul. Boo! I've never been so angry to be right. <laughs> damn it drinking now hold on <laughs> you know what's funny is that i actually I, i've been trying to finish this off with all the shows that i've been finishing the last two weeks I said i was going to finish this before i got done wrapping everything up this was the last this is I, I just i watched the expanse i watched doom patrol i watched the watchman i watched dark this was the last show i have that i was finishing this week and i feel like there's let's see there we go. I finally finished this fucking bottle. To you guys. Por Nairobi. Great episode. Even with that fucking cliffhanger ending and my neighbors being jackasses and seeing the whole helicopter thing being what it was halfway. But that whole getting her out of jail scene was phenomenal. Fantastic. That whole scene was probably my favorite part of this entire season. Just because it was one of the only real... Ed Professor lays out what his plan was and you see it all transpiring as he's explaining it. Doing those scenes that La Casa de Papel does so well. I didn't get like any of those this season. So that was fantastic. I was so happy about that. Man. 
sucks though. <laughs> that was such a good episode. I'm so like back into it. I typed in La Casa de Papel read it into Google. One of the first things I see is I just finished watching La Casa de Papel a year ago. <laughs> this is the most overrated piece of shit I've ever watched. <laughs> I don't know about all that. The best moment was Julia shooting that bitch ass Arturo. No, it was not. A, it got kind of spoiled for me because my neighbors were screaming at each other. And B, the best moment was definitely that whole escape scene. Mm-hmm. Somebody wrote, so are we all just going to pretend like this, like all of this wasn't Palermo's fault? That whole talk with Helsinki made me mad because it felt like a redemption. Bitch, there ain't no redemption for you. Introvert bitch on Reddit. You and me were there. We're there. This motherfucker, you know, it's, it's, it's fitting that I have them next to each other. I didn't even realize that. Hold on, Helsinki's not getting. Give me a second. I want to see more people angry about Palermo getting. When he said, even if I have to give my life, I do, yes, I do feel like that's the only possible explanation. I was going to say that, that when he said, I will make sure that you get out of here, even if I have to give you my life, he's really got nothing left. That's that shot where, you, where he opened up a box and you saw the gun inside of there. I feel like he, he tried to kill himself and he just couldn't go through with it i feel like next season he'll probably sacrifice himself so everybody gets out and you'll all feel better about him but yeah marseilla was definitely definitely the mvp of this season hands down hands down <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> can't agree more people are like wow what the fuck is this nonsense dude it's been nonsense since season one the whole plot is nonsense and it only bothers you during four this was the most enjoyable nonsense i've seen in a while I agree. Uh, the, the helicopter thing was the only part that I was kind of taken away back. A goddamn military helicopter from the black market. I can believe that. I can believe that, no problem. It's the communication interception. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, this guy's, got, this guy's got a good point because I was saying that earlier. But again, Alicia admits on live TV to countless types of crimes for which she could serve a life sentence and she gets to go home for an entire day just conveniently enough for her to disappear. Her whole, even though I'm okay with where it went, I there's no way that they let her have enough time to give her cat away and then bounce before anyone finds her. Bullshit. That was the one part for this, like out of legitimately, out of everything from this episode, that was the one thing that I was just like, no, nah, no, nah, bullshit. I can, I can, I can twist my arm when it comes to believing enough stuff with this show. That was one of those things that I'm just like, no, 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 horseshit. This this season definitely made it go, made it made a little drop it, uh, dropped it a little bit in my book. I, I had La Casa de Papel as my favorite show on Netflix up until this season. Now it used to go La Casa de Papel, Dark Bojack. Now. It's Bojack, Dark, La Casa de Papel. Right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Bojack, Dark, La Casa de Papel. I don't know. They might be able to come back with season five. Let me see when season five is coming out. Season five, La Casa de Papel. Yay, it started raining. Oh, that's cool. They got friggin' uh, Miguel, An Miguel Angel Silvestre. He was so good in Sense8. And then I don't know who this other guy is. Patrick Criado. Two new people coming next season. So no season six though. Give me, tell me that. Oh, it does say final season. All right, cool. Good. I was hoping that we weren't going to get another season after five. Five is enough. Five is plenty. Five is a perfect number of seasons for a show. Six seasons in a movie. <laughs> that is the better that is the better go around. All right. So that's all. So Reddit's over and done with. We got some news about next season. I'm trying to think if there's anything else about this season. Fucking Palermo getting a redemption arc. Fuck you. He needs to die. Palermo needs to die for Helsinki, and I'll be okay. For Nairobi. Everybody did fine this episode. I didn't hate anybody this episode. 
I would have been real pissed if Arturo actually got away with getting the gun from that guy. He needs to die, though. I can't believe that Arturo is still alive. I thought Julia was going to... I thought, I thought uh, Manila... I thought she was going to be like... When, when she said, you better pray to God that you didn't rape her, and then he's like, oh, no, it's all right. I would have been like, okay, that's proof. Boosh, you're gone. Gandhi and Arturo should have died this episode. That's my only thing. They should have died, and I, st- and I just I don't understand why they brought Lisbon to the bank. I just don't get it. I really... That makes so little... That makes almost as little... No, you know what? That makes more... I was going to say whether or not they would let Alicia go home and pack her shit and being able... No, fuck that. Especially after that press conference. They shouldn't have let her have the press conference in the first place. Like, like he should have known better. But after she gives that press conference, I feel like... Didn't they have guards, like, pull up behind her to be like, hey, get off the fucking stage? There's no way that she goes back to her house. Horseshit. Horseshit, 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 horseshit. The only reason they... Like, as soon as that happened, I'm like, she's going to go rogue. Do I did like... The hold on, I've got a call. <laughs> the gun. <laughs> he says that you can give me the tapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I can have. Oh, yeah, I can have the tapes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like she has to join them. There's there. I don't see any. She even if she brings the professor in right now, even if she brings him in, she still uh, publicly announced war crimes kind of <laughs> like she did a lot of shit that she was going to go to jail for i feel like even if she brings the professor in that's not going to be enough she might as well just join them yes she shot nairobi 100 percent shot nairobi and nairobi being in the chair and being by herself was kind of the reason that gandhi got to kill her so she's kind of but i honestly feel like this motherfucker is more directly responsible uh Who's more responsible? What do you think? Who's more responsible for Nairobi's death? Uh, Palermo or Alicia? But I feel like she has to join them. I feel like there's no other alternative for her. That she might be like, all right, yo, check this out. I, I get that all your people hate me. I get that. Like, she might even tell him, like, keep me secret. Don't tell anybody about me until we're done with all this. I want to cut. I want to cut of this money. I want to have the same ability to disappear in the night like you guys did. I've got my kid to think about. My husband's dead. She doesn't really have a whole lot going for her. She's going to go to jail regardless. Like, she might as well give it a shot and and try to make a run for it. She's going to go to jail no matter what. I would at least... Like, even if she only makes it for, like, a year... Hey, she's already, she's pretty smart. She's already proven that she's a pretty smart character. I feel like she'd be able to hide. If you you gave her like, you know, fucking $50 million, some shit like that, and gave her a fake passport, I feel like for sure she could bounce and she just fade away into the night without anybody ever finding her. So I feel like that's her best bet. She has to do that. There's no other alternative. She could keep Antonio, Antonio Zozos, Antonio, the, the cop that they're blackmailing kind of. I feel like she could keep him a secret. Really, hey, like, I know about him. I'll, I'll blow up his spot. Even though they don't really need him anymore, they've got Lee's bone outs. It still would be good to have someone on the inside. I don't like how quickly she figured that out. I feel like they could have had at least one little, little piece of information fall into her lap that kind of gives her that eureka moment. But I feel like she just kind of like sat there and like memory palaced the whole thing. I don't, I don't buy that. I don't buy it, but I'm willing to look past it because this episode, this, this whole show, like that guy said, it was, it's the most entertaining nonsense. The show is nonsense from start to finish. I don't care. If you think too hard into it, it gets a little murky sometimes. But for, if you just take it at face value as entertainment, yes, 100%. Way more than most movies and tv shows with like bank heist and crap like that that's why i love inside man his little moment with palermo was beautiful nice little moment to kind of give him a little bit of redemption to show why he's so fucked in the head but again he only like they called off the plan with him years ago because he was too much of a loose cannon 
He needs to just go, though. They need to just throw him out the front door. Be like, here, we don't want him anymore. Take him. Pack his leg up. Make a big public spectacle of it. Be like, yo, this guy, this guy killed one of our people in cold blood. We had the opportunity to kill him. Instead, we're letting him go see his wife and son. How great are we? Get the fuck out of here. Port Nairobi! I I, I just, I, I don't understand why Lee's bone is there. I just don't get it. That's gonna that's gonna bother me until season five starts. It makes absolute for them to go through all that. For them to go through all of that. Getting a helicopter, faking a gunfight, almost getting everybody shot, having to shoot at the snipers, smoke bombs and intercepting communications, all just to get her into no, that no, no, that doesn't make any fucking sense. But again, but again, I'll look past it. I can't even, I want to say this was a decent enough season, but I can't even say that. This season was easily the weakest, and you killed Nairobi. I can't, I can't forgive you for that. Sorry. Sorry, Palermo, and sorry, creators of the show. I cannot forgive you for the way that, that you guys killed my girl. The season came around at the end. The, the last two episodes made up for the majority of the season's weak points. I am very much looking forward to season five, especially now that I know it's going to be the final season. Whenever a show knows it's going to be the final season going into it, it just, it, it you, you can't say it doesn't help the quality when, where they don't have to have any loose plot threads for future seasons just in case. All right, one last time. Um, guys, been a pleasure. The season was all over the place, but it's still La Casa de Papel, and it's still one of my favorite shows, and I'm very much looking forward to season five. My waifu. Me and my waifu <laughs> bid the adieu, and I'll see you for season five or any other shows that you guys follow me on. So, see you around.